we are uh, we're moving on here at the Extra Life Marathon on uh, Gator Box. So coming up next is another game that is new to the schedule on a console that is new to Gator Box. Uh, the previous game was the My Little Pony uh, Mega Man ROM hack, which was new to Extra Life. We never played it before. Apparently, according to you guys, I have streamed it, chill streamed it before. I think back when we were playing Mega Man 1 through 6, I think is when I played through it. And then we did Retro Achievements for it uh, recently. So we've streamed it before. But this, this next game coming up has only been streamed as part of the Extra Life practice streams. So it's making its debut this year. It is Sonic pocket adventure for the neo geo pocket color um which is a mouthful but this game is a really interesting sonic the hedgehog 2d side scroller uh made by dimps the company responsible for making the sonic advance series so this is like a sonic advance zero in a sense this came out in 1999 and it is it's a game that features the art style of Sonic Adventure with levels from Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and music from Sonic the Hedgehog 3. So it's like they just got a whole bunch of Sonic history and threw it in the blender and just hit go and and then this is what uh, came of it. So it's, it's okay. It's not bad for an 8-bit Sonic the Hedgehog game. I was really surprised by it. I first played this game at a friend's house um, a few years back. Uh, he has a copy of uh, Sonic Pocket Adventure for the Neo Geo Pocket Color. And I played it out, and I was like, this is not a bad game. Uh, I never I never really made it past uh, Neo Green Hill Zone or whatever. So um, I never really got to experience the full game until uh, this year when I started practicing it for Extra Life. And... Uh, it's it's okay. It's got some jank with like collisions and stuff like that, and some of the boss fights are kind of crap. But all in all, not that bad of a game. So let's head back on over to the the layout where I've got Sonic Pocket Adventure waiting. But before we do that, we have a donation from Necros, who has donated fifty five dollars. Uh, no donation comment, so just the fifty five. Thank you very much, Necros. That brings us to 227, and that means we get another game challenge that I owe you guys. Putting that on the little... Oh, what is this stuck in the keyboard? What the, what the hell? <laughs> I tried to slide the paper into the keyboard, and it, it went between the two halves of the plastic and got stuck in there. <laughs> so I owe you guys another challenge. Uh, so far, I am one for one on, on game challenges. Anyways, let's go do Sonic Pocket Adventure. All right. Make sure we're on easy. And we are. Okay. Like I said, I crank it down for easy for marathon purposes. Right, here we go. Sonic Pocket Adventure in three, two, one. Let's go fast. This character likes to collect rings and go fast. Who is Danky Kang? Oh yeah, of course, jumping in the big ring takes you to the special stage, but we're not doing special stages on this run because this is any percent. Uh, but I will say, um, the special stages are pretty impressive. They managed to uh, cram in the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 special stage onto an 8-bit system.
<laughs> Didn't know Sonic had difficulty level. Well, the uh, the difference in difficulties is just that uh, the number of hits that bosses take and the placement of enemies. So on normal mode, they take eight hits. Uh, on easy, they only take six. And if, if this were a speed run, we'd be playing on normal. Or, I mean, a run I was going to submit to speedrun.com. Here's Robotnik and his dopey ass hammer machine. Welcome to the stream. Just in time for a little bit of Sanic. Go a little bit slow. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I even call it. I'm like, here's the part where we gotta go a little bit slow. The first thing I do is fuck it up. Dash. Okay, there we go. Right there at the end, too, see? Right there at the end. Yeah, I can show off the special stage after the run. It's no problem. What is up? We are doing a little bit of Sanic for Extra Life.
Oh, it's raining where you are, Emporio. It rained here, like, a day last week. We had a cold front blow in. Lower temperatures for a few days. Then just as quickly as it came, it's gone. Dr. Robotnik's big swinging thing. Don't let him get you. That was not a bad run for this boss. I got hit, but it didn't really take any time. level in the game. Casino Night Zone. Oh boy! Casino Night Zone! Said no one ever. I just love Casino Zones in Sonic the Hedgehog games. End quote. An idiot. but they're not fun to play. There we go. Alright. <laughs> it does have special stage music. And Act 2 has different special stage music. Rockin' long hair like me? But you said you're a drummer, yeah, so it kinda goes hand in hand. Gotta have the look, gotta complete the look. There we go, look at that. I finally went fast enough to clear that. Whoops. says, I think I'll take casino zones over trauma drowning music stages. Oh, well, boy, do I have just a thing for you after this stage. Let's go down here and fight Robotnik. People do runs of uh, Casino Night Zone where they get 999 coins. It's called it's called gambling percent. Yeah, I think Supersonic does those. I watch him every once in a while when uh, when 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 he's live. So yeah. Uh, by the way, this is uh, all the zones have different names, but this is Aquatic Ruin Zone, and the thing that really bothers me about about Sonic Pocket Adventure is how uh, the zones are out of order. We had Emerald Hill, Chemical Plant Zone, and then it should be this one. And then, uh, and, and, and then, Casino Night. 
But no, Casino Night and Aquatic Ruin are backwards in this game for reasons I don't quite understand. See if we can stay on the top path this time. See if this run is meant to be. Ooh, nope, it's not meant to be. This is a bad run. I jumped. should hit that checkpoint. sudden, Knuckles jump scare. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh-oh, he got me. Oh no. So, that little emerald that he dropped is, uh, that's the master emerald in this game. It's muy pequeño, fits in your back pocket for handy safekeeping for traveling, and Robotnik comes down and gets it. When it's not fucking massive, you can afford just to come swing down and be like, boop, got it. And the knuckles like uppercuts me straight into the air. And then, it just so happens, Tails is flying a stupid plane. And now we're going to Sky Chase Zone. theme for Sky Chase Zone is none other than Azure Lake from Sonic 3. a place you can safely stand on this level and not do anything and not get hit but that's no fun whether you sit there and do fuck all or actually play the stage it's gonna take you two minutes and two seconds to beat this level so uh, I feel like I might as well 
interact with the game so that there's something to watch instead of me just sitting here eating beef jerky for two minutes. <laughs> I was holding right when I jumped there. I don't know what the hell that jump was. There we go. Lag reduction. There is no lag reduction. Watch. 202. Time for Wing Fortress Zone. My least favorite zone. Why is it playing Death Egg? Oh, because the people that made this game don't know about Sonic. <laughs> they were like, it's kind of like when they made Sonic 3D Blast and it was Traveler's Tales doing all the doing the game design, and they were like, we have all these bona fide Sonic the Hedgehog sound effects, completely out of context, and uh, they were like, we can just repurpose them for whatever. So that, that that's how you wind up with like the. Uh, um, what am I trying to say? The the guy on the pogo stick making the Metal Sonic charging up sound. You just get you get these these sound effects without context. You're like, well, we can just use these in the game for something. Sega Genesis game, the the fire coming out of the, the engines of the Wing Fortress is cosmetic, but in this game, it'll actually hurt you. So that was the thing that took me the longest to get used to. I was like, okay, I can't touch this. Also, these little turning propeller platforms are on a, are on a global timer. Sure to hit the checkpoint because we are fixing to fight Silver Sonic, not Metal Sonic. Remember, this is Sonic 2, and Silver Sonic and Metal Sonic are two distinct Sonics, from what I've been told. Also, Silver Sonic's theme is the Doomsday Zone, the final, final boss of uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. GG. Silver is a metal, but Silver Sonic and Metal Sonic, the characters, those, the things that are named that, are distinct. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> I used to call Silver Sonic Metal Sonic all the time as a kid. Until I got um actually by some fucking Sonic Spurg. 
when I was in like high school or something. <laughs> so oh, damn it. <laughs> Um, actually, that Silver Sonic, who is different from Metal Sonic. Like, they're both fucking metal. What do you, what do you expect me to say? I just like that so many of the stages in this game use the Sonic 2 player competition music. Like, this is Chrome Gadget Zone. And I feel like not a whole lot of people really gave a shit about Sonic the Hedgehog 3's two player mode. So a lot of these a lot of these tracks are like B-sides. If a Sonic game if like a video game could have a B-side, I would say Sonic 3's two player songs are B-sides. And uh they're they're really good. So it's it's kinda like it's kinda like music that doesn't get a whole lot of get a lot of recognition. Everyone's always like, oh, Hydro City. Oh, Marble Garden. But no one's ever like, oh, Azure Lake. Oh, Chrome Gadget. Except for, like, me. stupid it is. Look at stupid double rocket engine thing. So you can stand on the explosions for a split second. You can do what I did and get hit. Oh shit, there goes my uh, rings. Yep. Take it from the top. This is this is the this is the penultimate boss, and I find him to be far more difficult than the final boss. Final boss is a fucking cakewalk in this game. Really? Stand on the explosions for a split second. But you got the you got the timing is like perfect. One more hit. Oh fuck, there goes my ring. Okay, there we go. Sonic got through Act 2. Just like that. Now it's time for the final stage. Last Utopia. OK, 
Okay, he's gonna put the Chaos Emerald down. The camera's gonna unlock in a second here. Now I can hit him. Whoops. There we go. Time's coming up. Time. 26.45. This, no, this is for Neo Geo Pocket Color, Rocker. This is, uh, what, I wouldn't call it a failed handheld, but it was definitely not the top of its class. Uh, thank you for the GGs, and is that, that is a PB by over a minute, wow. PB by over a minute. I make this look easy. Math quiz ease. <laughs> Have another Sour Patch Kid. Once this uh, credits are, are, are done rolling, I'll, I'll play through the first stage again. I'll show you guys what the special stage looks like. We got time. We are definitely ahead of schedule. Congratulations! You jumped off the plane. Now what are you going to do, you big dumb idiot? Tails or Knuckles in this game, unfortunately. There's no ROM hack as far as I'm aware. I don't know if ROM hacks exist for this console. There we go. <laughs> I jumped early. Check this out. This is running on 8-bit hardware. Now mind you, it has a it has a beefier processor than than the NES did and stuff like that. But this is a this is not a 16-bit handheld. At least I don't think it is.
cool. I think these special changes are, are pretty difficult. So I've never actually gotten a, a good ending on this game. As you can see, they're putting bombs in the very first special stage. There we go. Got a cast emerald. Like Sonic, he's like this. He's like, yeah, I got one. What of it? What are we gonna do? Huh? What are we gonna do? Checking out this video by Gatorbox. To see more videos like it, please subscribe to the channel. You can also support this project financially at patreon.com forward slash Gatorbox. You can also follow us at twitch.tv forward slash Gatorbox to catch us live every Friday night at 9 p.m. Central Time for our main show. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.